Hello and welcome to the channel. If you had the opportunity to check out my last video, you would have noted that I put in a fire pit blower on my outside in-ground fire pit. And the purpose of that was so that I could easily stoke the flames and eliminate smoke while we're sitting around the fire. That was a pretty successful project as you can see here. If you look at the right side, that is the fire with the blower engaged and then the left side is without. So what I want to do is take my project to the next step and I'm going to do that by installing this remote onto the fire pit blower. This way I'll be able to sit around the comfort of the fire and turn it on and off with the flip of a switch. I'll show you how to do that. That's up next. I want to take a moment to review what comes in this RF remote control kit. And I will leave a link in the description below for this kit if you're interested. I'll give you more specifics about cost in just a moment. Uh, but before I do all this, I wanted to remind you that if you haven't uh, subscribed yet to the channel, please take the opportunity to do so. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. That will ensure that you get notification anytime I put up new content. Okay, with that out of the way, let's talk about the components here. So first of all, it's a radio frequency remote control uh, that's made by a company called eMilo. And uh, this works with a range of voltages, which I'll cover more in, in a minute. Uh, the module itself uh, comes with uh, just a positive and negative. There's a one side that connects to the, uh, the source or the battery, and the other side will connect to the blower or the item that you want to power. In this case, I'm going to use my green energy. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to hook this up to a 12 volt battery uh, that's in my green energy station to power that blower. It also comes with two quick connects, so you can easily connect this up uh, to the switch. And it also has two remotes that it comes with. And finally, it comes with a set of instructions, but uh, I don't think we need this, do we? Okay, by the way, I don't think I mentioned I purchased this switch on Amazon for a cost of uh, $13.99. It's able to operate current between 5 and 24 volts. Um, and uh, it says that uh, it has excellent stability, um, has low interference, and a strong signal that's able to pass through walls and, and it... Uh, pretty uh, significant distances. So what I thought I would do is go ahead and hook this up to a 9 volt battery just for uh, testing purposes. And I have a uh, small fan off a former uh, computer. And so I got it all hooked up. So let's go ahead and give it a try and see what it does. So A turns this thing on and B turns it off. So let's hit the A switch. There you can see the fan turning and B will turn it back off. So the plan is then to go ahead and run wire from my bilge blower, uh, which uh, again, I installed in that former video. Uh, I will leave a link up here in the corner if you wanna check that out and uh, we'll hook it up and see how it works. This is my uh, fire pit here and inside uh, this compartment, I have a uh, tote in which I mounted a bilge blower. That's where I wired in my remote switch. Right here you see an air intake. That's where the air comes in, pushed by the bilge blower underground up into the fire pit, which helps stoke the flames and reduce smoke. Uh, if you haven't seen the effectiveness of the uh, bilge blower working, check out the previous video. I'll leave a link right up here in the corner so that you can check that video out. So let's go ahead and uh, open up this paver here and I can show you how I wired in that remote switch. So here you see the remote switch wired into my blower. That's going as the output. And as far as the input, 
this negative and positive wire is running over to my green energy station where I supply power to the, the blower. So I'll show you how I ran that wire uh, in the ground. So to bury this wire is fairly easy. I just use my edger to make a nice little trench. And then it's just a matter of shoving the wire into the trench and then I secure it in the bottom using this piece of wood and then just cover over to seal it in. So fairly straightforward. So from the bilge blower I needed to run the wire over to my energy station. This is my daughter's former playhouse. You can see remnants of the trench that I put in to run this over and I just run the wires in here through the side of the house and let's go inside. So inside you can see the wires running along my ground strap there and they're coming to this uh, low voltage disconnect switch. This is a DC low voltage disconnect um, but this low voltage disconnect disconnect is set so that I do not uh, drain my uh, battery below acceptable levels. So it's just a matter of attaching the uh, negative and positive wires to the terminals of my uh, battery and we're good to go. By the way this is uh, my uh, energy system. It just consists of a, a small inverter. Obviously I'm just using direct DC power uh, for that bilge blower but I also have the capability uh, to uh, power uh, some AC equipment with this as, as well. So it's actually very warm right now. I'm not going to build a fire to uh, demonstrate this but I will turn this on so you could hear that the switch is operational and uh, what I did is I just laid uh, some shredded paper on the bottom of that so you can see some of the air movement uh, doesn't move a lot of air, but it uh, moves enough to uh, stoke the flames considerably. Um, being in that pit, it just doesn't get enough oxygen. And with the assistance of the bilge blower, uh, it works, the fire pit works more efficiently. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. You can hear it run. Actually, with the cover on, it's uh, not as loud. And uh, you can see some air movement in here. I'm going to turn this off. And if you watch down here in the corner, you can see, I think you can see the air movement in there. So uh, it does a pretty effective job, and I'm very pleased with it. I'll cover this back up and let you hear what it sounds like uh, with the cover on. And here you can hear the difference with the cover on most of the noise emanates from that intake it's not bad at all it's getting warm out here so i'm going to wrap this up it feels good in the shade with a little bit of uh, breeze uh, so i enjoyed doing this uh, fire pit automation project i trust you enjoyed watching it as well if you found it entertaining go ahead and give it a thumbs up and perhaps share it with a friend if you haven't subscribed yet Go ahead and hit that subscription button and when you do if you hit that notification bell uh, you can set uh, the settings on that to receive notice uh, whenever i post new content thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time